In this video, I'm going to show you how to configure Project Insight for Jira integration to push the start date and end date and work hours into the Jira start date, Jira due date, and Jira original estimate fields. So to start, you'll go to your add-ons and choose Project Insight for Jira. Click on Configure then you can go to the bottom here where in this section we have project insight to jira options for when we're sending data to jira what the choices are to turn those fields on you'll choose work hours updates original estimate project insight end date updates jira due date project insight start date updates jira start date that will make it so that the schedules that you're pushing in project insight actually get pushed into Jira with those that data so your project managers can effectively send that data into Jira from the uh, scheduling and engines and Project Insight. Now it would be that simple um, but the Jira integration, the API for Jira won't allow updates to those fields unless those fields are present on the layouts. So I'm gonna show you how to set that all up. So these options I just showed you are the global options in Project Insight for the Project Insight for Jira. So now anytime you create a link to Jira in Project Insight, those were, though that project will uh, push those fields. Now, remember these configuration options can be updated on a project by project basis. But the point of this video is to show you how to set up your Jira layout. So when you're in Jira, there's the, here's the, the layout screen uh, that we're talking about. You need to, to navigate to this, you can basically go into your any project screen, choose issue layout, then we're gonna choose story, epic, task, and subtask. Choose edit layout. I'm back to that screen I just showed you on. What you need to see in order for this to work is original estimate has to at least be on this screen and start date and due date, you can see they're not on here. Because they're not on here, the API will not accept uh, input into those fields. So to get those fields on here, you need to navigate to this link right here at the top. That opens a new tab. And here are all those fields that I just showed you. Go find uh, start date, Not there's the start date, find due date. There we go with that. Um, we always used to tell everyone to choose time tracking, especially if you're doing that for Project Insight. Now that just saved all those. In, um, if I refresh this screen now, you'll see that the start date and the due date is there, the original estimate is there, time tracking is on there, so that looks really good. Um, we also need to go back and do this for the bug. So we'll choose edit layout on the bug, same thing, we don't see start date and due date that's not on there. So in order to get that to happen, you choose this link, update this Kanban BTT, choose start date, then uh, choose due date, and we're gonna put time tracking on here. We're good to go on that as well. So now I can close that tab and I can refresh the bug screen, confirm that I have the start date, the due date, time tracking, original estimate, it's all there now. If we could click close it again and head back to Project Insight, let's go to our one project that we have integrated. Build this thing is integrated. We'll check the settings on this specific project because I showed you those were the global settings. Here we have, you can see that this, we got an error syncing these fields because we didn't have it in the layout. We can simply choose try again, try again, try again, save that configuration these settings will now work. If we go ahead and give due diligence some duration and some hours, that data just got sent over to Jira. Let's go find the Kanban board here. And we did it to uh, due diligence was the t uh, task, find due diligence. If I open that up, you can see now we have a start date, we have a due date, we've got two days of estimate. That matches due diligence, um, start date and end date in the two days of original estimate, the work hours here, 27th to the um, 6th of June, if we go here, 
27 to the 6. All that data just was pushed from Project Insight. I'll go ahead and change this to be a 10 day task and we'll schedule, you know, we'll just do a must start on into the future. Save that task in PI. Now it's now now it's June to the June 7th to the 18th. It's still 16 hours, but we have 10 days. Let's make that 32 hours. Go back to our issue. See, do due diligence. We've got our updated dates. We've got four days of original estimate matching the 32 hours there. So these fields are now totally in sync, and that's how you set that up.